Welcome to 216 Hancock Drive, uh, just outside the Strathmore neighborhood. Uh, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, uh, ranch cape kind of combination. Let's give you an idea of uh, what the street looks like. This is the very end of Hancock Drive, so this street ends in a cul-de-sac. Tough to show you everything here because of the trees, but that's the end of the cul-de-sac, so it's kind of a it's a dead end portion of the street. This has always been a very good neighborhood and it's quiet down here because you don't get all the traffic. That's uh, intersection with Arden there that goes over to Gaddis. And here we are back at the house. This is a two car garage. It's underneath the house, the driveway, uh, looks like it could uh, could use some renovation, work, replacement. Um, still usable, serviceable, You'll probably get a couple more years out of it. Um, the walls on either side of the driveway, because it's sunken in somewhat, uh, appear to be in good shape. Landscaping is pretty nicely done. Stairway walks up to the front door this way. Take a couple steps up to Now, none of the windows in the house have been updated, but they are uh, fairly, uh, they are in very good shape, and they do, most of them have storm windows on them, but they're um, single pane wooden, wooden uh, windows. Before going into the backyard, I decided to take a look, quick look here at the chimney. It looks like there's some cracks up there. It looks like it's still fully serviceable. There is an old off-air antenna up there on the roof. The roof itself appears to be in good, reasonable, serviceable shape, but it certainly isn't new. I've come around the left side of the house now as you're facing from the front over on the chimney side. Just to give an idea, that's uh, shakes cedar shingles. And uh, there's some curling. They all seem to be in good shape. Gutters, soffit, fascia, all appear to be good. And they come off into the backyard. So it's uh, somewhat private, wooded, level in the backyard. Of course it drops off behind that fence. Now let's go take a look at it. Of course, this goes down to Glenwood behind us. You can see a guardrail down there. This is all, for the most part, forever wild. But at least the backyard is uh, without small kids or anything. It's not an issue. It's not fully fenced in, but uh, nice and level decently landscaped, mature. Back side of the house, we've got a deck. I'll give you a closer look at it, at it in a moment. The roof, I'm seeing something up here that I'm going to take a closer look at. Looks like it's been patched or just discolored. The sun does a lot of Sun, moss, that kind of thing. Wreaks havoc on the roofs in the back. The deck's all raw natural wood. It could be stained or painted, but it matches with the with the siding. It's got a built-in bench back in here. Nicely shaded. This is about 12:30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. In September that I'm doing it. There's your air conditioning con condenser. Take one last look around the side. This side of the house. Okay, I'm up at the front door now. I've come up the stairs and just to give you a little view here, there's a small porch, covered porch here, 
open, but covered to the rain. Welcome. Alright, here we are on the inside. Walk in the stairway that leads to the top. There is a walkway, hallway off to the right. Bifold doors with a closet near the entry. And let's go this way first. Carpeting, and I assume the hardwoods probably run underneath uh, all this carpeting. Carpeting appears to be in good shape, maybe a few stains, footprints, that type of thing. Decent size living room. Fireplace, wood grain fireplace. If we look at the chimney outside, the chimney looks to be in good shape. And then we can see right out to the picture window in the back that goes out to the, uh, looks out over the deck. And we come into formal dining room kitchen type combination. There's a um, bay window type arrangement here. This I assume is a dining room. There's a door that leads out to the back deck here. And here's your kitchen. And the hardwoods run right in through the kitchen, so it's all, if the carpeting came out of here, I assume it would all be hardwoods underneath. Looks like a newer refrigerator. The uh, range and oven, not so much. Cabinets are in good shape. We've got solid surface, countertops, looks like crayon, gas range. Double bowl sink with sprayer head. Another nice big window in the back. And uh, these things are for closing out the kitchen, I guess, if you're going to make a secret meal or something. You don't want anybody to see what it is. We've got a door here. Let's see what we've got here. A little pantry type arrangement. The kitchen is. Uh, Kind of small, but if it's one person in there cooking, or maybe two sitting on the outside here um, doing some prep work, helping out. If somebody, I mean, the work triangle in there is great, but uh, it's, it's not tight, but you're kind of cornered in there. I don't think, you know, I think you could get used to it. I don't think it's a, a big deal. All right, here's a hallway that goes, leads back up to the uh, front door, and at the end of the hallway here, we have a one. Um, a half bath. So it's uh, it's tiled on the wall and the floor. Dated, but in good shape. And then at the end of the hallway, we split left and right. We go to two bedrooms. This one still has the hardwoods exposed. And the closet is back here with sliding double doors. I don't know why this isn't focusing. And there's a little extra room here, bump out here behind the door. They've got some shelving unit in there. And this is a first floor master because it's got its own. Um, Master sweep because it's got its own bathroom, full bath. And this one's carpeted. And again, the hardwoods, uh, my assumption that they're, we've got them in a closet, so they're, uh, they should be under the rug too. A nice, decent size closet there. And here's the full bath, master sweep bath. Again, Tiles, ceramic floor, dated, but all in uh, very good shape. We've got a tub, tub surround. Okay, I'm at the top of the stairs now, the stairway leading from the front door. I've got two more bedrooms and a full bath up here. 
So at the top of the stairs, and again, these are all hardwoods up here too. Even the storage area off to the right of the stairwell. Uh, Cape type arrangement, low dog-eared cornered roof. But they've got this set up with a nice big pole for hanging up clothes. Good size area, it works well for storage. Now down to the left we have one bedroom. To the right we've got our bath. Storage here. And then bedroom off to the right. This bedroom's got fully exposed hardwoods. Uh, shelving type storage underneath the, uh, the roof line there. Here are the typical dog ear corners of a cape. Nice size room here. Closet back here. All well, closets appear to be about the same size, same configuration, sliding, uh, two sliding doors. Closet for linens. Very good, very nice size there. Okay, and again, under the carpet, uh, there should be hardwoods. All right, here's a, uh, a full bath. Nice big, nice big bath here. Lots of room. Again, just like the other two, ceramic flo uh, floor tiles and ceramic tiles on the uh, on the walls. And all in all in excellent condition, but uh, definitely dated. There's a small storage area here. It's kind of hollow and it looks like there's uh, roof access up in the top there. All right, here's our fourth bedroom, second one on the second floor here, which is a little bit smaller than the other one, but more or less a mirror image. And the uh, under the roof line, storage here. This doesn't go back all that far, just a little ways. A little storage shelf there underneath that roof line. Alright, I'm in the hallway leading off from the front entry door. And before I go downstairs, I just want to show you briefly the uh, basement door is right here. And then off to the right, we've got this uh, lured door with additional storage. We've got some shelves over here. It could be used for a pantry or cleaning supplies or downstairs um, linens, that type of thing. All right, so just all right, here I'm at the bottom of the stairs in the basement. You can see they did a unusual treatment on the on the carpeting here. It's kind of cute. Uh, at the bottom, we've got ceramic tiles, and uh, this goes off into a small closet that basically just goes underneath the stairs. There's not a lot of room there, but uh, it does give you. This is all. This is. I open this up. This is just a decorative thing. There's not much of anything behind here. Not much for storage. Either. We've got board and batten type of uh, rough hewn. wall treatment down here in what appears to be used as a kind, of a kind of an office type arrangement. So we've got the bare concrete but sealed and painted floor here and uh, big thick old shag carpeting. Small storage area here. This looks like a cedar type closet. Oh, uh, cedar. And, uh, and then on the back side over here, we get into our laundry room. So we've got a uh, washer and dryer. We've got a, oh, that's an interesting sink. Looks like a series of appliances. Opens up on the bottom. I don't know what that does for you, but. So the washer, the dryer. Um, dryer's got metal ducting runs up through here above the ceiling. And it appears to be, let me check, electric, yep. Drain runs down through there. 
This is all your utilities are in here, or most of them. Here's your furnace. Um, not brand new, but again, like the rest of the house, seems to be well maintained. It's not high efficiency because it's still venting through the chimney pipe. There's your line set that's running in from the air conditioner. We've got a electrostatic filter on it and a uh, humidifier and your water, water heater and this is gas and uh, again appears to be not new but in very good shape and hopefully I'll find the panel box at some point. Now we get into the surprise here. This is a little tight but to give you an idea this obviously would be cleaned out um, for a buyer, but this was somebody's workshop in here. They had quite the uh, quite the deal here. So we've got a wood turning lathe, uh, drill press, uh, disc sander, bandsaw, grinders. All kinds of stuff. We got a big old, wow, big old fan here too. I guess to blow all the dust out of here or something. And then over on this back side, it goes out into the garage. Aha! Here we go. Panel box. And I assume, well, we got breakers. Okay, we're putting in breakers. All right, I'm just I'm back at the stairs of multicolors, and just to show you, I didn't show you before when I went around to the garage. This door, that other door I came in, this door is the other door in, in the garage. So that's the garage door that goes into that workroom. And here's the garage door that comes back into the bottom of the stairs in the basement.